Hey, you know, a while back on one of my shotgun videos, one of my viewers left a comment. He says, hey, why don't you pick up one of those Opsol adapters so you can fire mini shells out of your uh, Maverick 88, the shotgun here. And I thought, man, that's a good idea. So I went ahead and ordered this little adapter and we'll take a look at it here in just a second. But here's the package. And here on the back it says designed in Texas, tested in Texas, and made in the USA. And this here is actually what it looks like. It's just a, a little piece of uh, rubber. Let me come around here and show it to you. And this is what it looks like. You know, just uh, made out of rubber. And I'll show you here in a moment how to put this in. All right, make sure the shotgun is unloaded. Magazine is unloaded. Safety is on. Bring your uh, forearm back. Now you'll you'll notice there's a a lip right here on this adapter, and there's also a lip right here inside the trigger guard. I don't know if you can see that or not, but. This lip is going to sit and slip over that other uh, lip or edge, I guess you could call it. So it's going to go in just like this. And I'm just going to squeeze it. Kind of. Tilt it a little bit. And it should be flush right here with the bottom of the um, receiver. Work the action a few times, make sure it doesn't pop out, and you're good to go. That's all you got to do. Okay, let's take a look at the shells here. Now, before I get started, actually, let's grab this one here. Here's a mini shell right here. Here's a standard two and three quarter inch. Yeah, big difference. All right, so what we have here. Now every time I pronounce this name I get chewed out by somebody, but I'm going to call it Aguila. Um, this is a lead slug. Let's see if we can get a shot here. And at the velocity on this little guy is 1250 feet per second. Now I did cut one of these open so we can take a look at that. That's pretty cool, huh? Okay, next I have a buckshot round by made by Aguila. And let's see uh, see what it says here. Now this has two different size pellets in it. It's got four buck, it's got seven pellets of that, and it also has one buck, four pellets of one buck. So it has a total of 11 pellets in that, but velocity is 1,200 feet per second. Okay, last, I have Federal, and this is Federal Shorty. Now, this has eight shot in it. Let's see if we can get a, a look here. Just kind of small pellets, but uh, this is, let's see, velocity 1145 feet per second, 15 sixteenths of an ounce, so almost one ounce of. Uh, pellets in here and again eight shot. Aguila makes bird shot it's seven and a half uh, shot but it's only five eighths of an ounce. Again this here is 15 16 so uh, I'm not gonna cut one of these open it's just uh, bird shot. Anyways that's what I got guys so let's uh, grab this shotgun and get it loaded. Okay now what you want to know probably is how many rounds can I put in my shotgun? Now this is a Maverick 88 security model, so it has the extended factory installed um, magazine tube on it. So with standard two and three quarter inch shells, this magazine holds eight rounds. With the mini shells, I can actually put 12 of them in here. So I have 12 in the magazine, and I have four right here in this side saddle. So I've got 16 rounds ready to go right here. And of course, if I have one in the chamber, bam, I got 17 rounds of mini shells. That's a, that's a lot of horsepower, I think. 
Anyways, I'm gonna eject these 12 rounds, make sure they eject okay. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna do that test again, except this time I'm gonna use the, uh, the slugs, the mini shell uh, slugs without the adapter in it. Let's see what happens. Well, there you have it. Not 100% reliable, but uh, there you go. I do want to mention I have this little single shot shotgun. This is made by Midland. It's called a backpack. Great little shotgun. I did a review on this last year. Again, just a little single shot. Folds up into a backpack or you can put it in a Ruger 1022 takedown case, but uh, we will load some of these in it and shoot it. That ought to be a lot of fun. All right, like I said, I've never shot one of these, so I'm kind of anxious to compare recoil with this short shell against a standard two and three quarter inch. Now, this is a, just a light load of seven and a half. I'm going to shoot it first, and then I'll shoot this uh, Federal bird shot just to check recoil. And I'm going to shoot in that little clearing there across that wash on the right side of the screen. So here's the two and three quarter. That does have a little kick to it. All right, let's try the little guy here. You know what? Believe it or not, those. Those felt both the same as far as recoil, which was really did surprise me. But uh, after I shoot some slugs and that buckshot, uh, we'll see how those feel compared to standard buckshot and slugs. Okay, time to have some fun. Um, I got a couple of these cinder blocks. They're pretty heavy, heavy duty. I'm gonna shoot the first one with a standard two and three quarter inch slug and then I'm going to shoot a second one with a mini slug and we'll see what happens. I'm going to have a second camera set up, a uh, GoPro set on slow motion so should be pretty neat. Let's see what happens. Well, that was impressive. All right, I got some expired tomato juice. This expired back in 2017. I'm gonna shoot it with a uh, mini buckshot. Now, why am I gonna shoot it? Because that's what I do. And that's why you guys watch my videos, right? So I'm gonna shut up and shoot it with a buckshot.
Remember guys, always pick up your trash. Hey, a couple of quick things guys. Hey, uh, I know some of you are probably going to ask, hey, can I get an adapter for a Remington 870? And unfortunately the answer is no. Just because the way the uh, lifter is made on the 870, there's no way to get a, uh, an adapter in there. So the adapter is only available for the Mossberg 500 series of shotguns. Good news, I was able to get my son out here today and he did bring my Stoger double barrel, which we both love to shoot. Mm -hmm. May I? Sure. All right. Look at that beauty, huh? So, gonna have my son put a few rounds through that. You ready to shoot it? Let's do it. All right, let's uh, set up some targets and do some shooting. I'm gonna have my son shoot this uh, cantaloupe and he's gonna shoot it with this uh, Fedro 8 shot. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> That's it, young man. You're going home. Nice, break that sucker open. I'll pull those out for me. <laughs> yeah, it got me a little bit. All right, let's go look at that can. Again, this was a slug right here. Hand me the shotgun and grab that sucker. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Right there. Pretty impressive for that little slug. Okay, he's going to shoot one more slug at two gallons of water. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Ball. That uh, went through and got both of them, didn't it? Wow. That was impressive. What do you think there, Starsky? <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> We're going to make it snow today, guys, with some buckshot. All right, good job. There you, go. you did make it snow. I did. Whoa, look at that. Tore that sucker up. Souvenir for you, son. <laughs> I guess the old man's gonna make a snow now. Again, 
buckshot. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Yes, guys, we will pick this trash up too. Follow me. I'm gonna shoot that can right. Hey, my son uh, made me a challenge. He wants me to throw this root beer up in the air and shoot it with both barrels at the same time with uh, the mini buckshot. So let's see what happens. This ought to be fun. You know, that wasn't too bad. Hey, you know, I'm going to be honest, guys. When I uh, first bought these shells, I didn't think I was going to like them. I thought they was going to be underpowered and uh, just really a waste of money. But I can honestly tell you, absolutely impressed by these shells. Impressed by that little Alpso adapter because it really does work. Again, if you have a, a Mossberg, you might want to pick one up. But... Uh, you know, I, I don't think I would hesitate to have 12 rounds of those uh, buckshot in my Maverick 88 for home defense. And then, of course, four on the side. But really, really happy with these uh, shells, guys. So, And I did get mine at uh, Sportsman's Warehouse. Anyways, my son and I thank you for watching our videos. Check out Patreon, subscribe, and um, you know what? We'll see you guys next time. Again, thanks for watching. <laughs>